Uh, linseed oil down when I'm when I'm putting on fresh timber just so you can get um, you know maximum penetration which is I'm sure what most of us want um, I used to use white spirits but now I found like uh, petroleum distillate aka petrol aka gas uh, works exceptionally well and it dries very quickly and it means that you can get another coat on there uh, you know still delivers the same punch of oil deep into the fibers of the timber but um, dries much quicker than if you thin it out with um, white spirits or terps or the other stuff terpy spirits turpentine substitutes and whatnot um, yeah and it doesn't go funny. I've tried it with a few different types of thinners, like, you know, standard paint thinners and that, and it, it um, goes a bit weird sometimes. Uh, but the petrol really works very nicely. I mean, quite often I paint stuff with uh, used engine oil and petrol. Like, if it's something I don't really, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna be handling a lot, like a fence or something. I environmental agency would probably shoot me if they caught me doing it, but um, yeah, this is a good, uh, good poor man's career so isn't it? Um, petrol and engine oil. Like if uh, if you've left it a really long time before you do an oil change in your diesel, then uh, the the oil's particularly black and sooty, and it does a really nice stain up job. Right. There you go. That's my, my horrifically unecological uh, wood treatment advice. Look at all my lovely crates, folks. Hey, <laughs> what do you reckon? Um, they were meant to be free, but ended up costing me like uh, 
like at least a tenner in linseed oil and uh, and wood screws. Like I must have used um, oh, about three hundred screws and all that, you know. Um, which is no big problem. Hey, I did I did look at um, sort of milk crates, buying that sort of thing. Um, I couldn't use actual milk crates because they're too too shallow. The the bottles poke out the top, but. Um, well, if you're going to buy plastic crates, they'd be a bit better, to be perfectly honest, because they got dividers in them, and I could have, could have put dividers in these, but then they would have ended up being huge and that, you know, there would have been another couple of inches of timber in there, and uh, and what, they're already, there's already a little bit of gravity, this one's, this one's full up, this is my Wilco's Deluxe Lager Kit, um, and uh, what I'd say, I'd say uh, probably, 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 you know, I say that's a bag of cement. It's easily a bag of cement now. Um, uh, well, we can work it out, can't we? We got a. Uh, we got um. Forty bottles. Don't know how much a bottle weighs, but there's at least um. Forty bottles is going to be. Twenty liters, which is. 20 kilograms start straight up, then the weight of the bottles and the weight of the crate. So, um, yeah, there's a, there's, there's a bit of gravity there. <laughs> it might have been better. I'm not saying it would have been better. I'm saying it might have been better to have done 20 bottle crates rather than 40 bottle crates. But, you know, these aren't for moving around and that. They're for uh, older bottles whilst I clean them and um, and what? Oh, I'll get out of the way so you can, you can admire them. Um, <laughs> and what? Uh, putting the bottles in for storage. So I will move the bottles whilst they're full in there, but. Not very far, you know, not very far. But yeah, that's lovely, that's lovely. Um, so I don't know if I was rambling on about this earlier, but uh, I see this design for an old, um, well, I actually saw the, saw the crate up for sale on eBay, uh, French wine crate, and the way they did the corners was very nice. Uh, it doesn't look quite so good with this because I've used much thicker timber, and that, that gap there sticks out like a sore thumb. Um, the other thing they did on that French wine crate, they'd used the, sort of double-ended nails um, and uh, what, you hammer one end in there then bend the nail around and hammer the other end in there so it's, it's sort of like a giant um, giant staple almost um, and I've not seen that done before um, but it really makes sense because it, it holds, holds the joint together and it also sort of protects the corner from a bit of knocking without going to the expense of putting um, you know, a sheet metal corner plate on there I might try that in future. I didn't try that here, obviously, because, uh, well, to be honest, <laughs> these are just beer crates, isn't they? But, um, yeah, crate making's fun. Crate making's fun. There is a channel I know that has a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, totes and crates and stuff. Uh, Mr. Sparkles, Spark Sparky, um, Sparky416, everything's adjustable. Uh, I'm sure he'll be in the comments below, but... Uh, he, he went through a, like a year-long phase of doing nothing but building totes and crates, and uh, I did I did look at all of his um, all of his ideas again. Nothing was was quite suitable for this quantity of bottles, but I suppose if you're looking for something to hold less bottles, check him out because he's got some quite nice ideas. Um, my mate Tony. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, these are my bottles. The the uh, the branding. Um, I'm sure there's a bit of an art to this. This is my first first go doing it on something big. You know, I've done I've done a lot of freehand branding with soldering irons and that. Um, you know, uh, just for messing around. But this uh, because the wood's not entirely flat, like, um, and I think my branding iron was a little bit lightweight. It could have been a bit thicker, to be honest. Uh, but I, you know, I wasn't really prepared to put the time into it. Um, uh like it did it did make this a bit tricky i had to do a lot of rocking around and they still didn't come out perfect but they came out good enough definitely good enough and they they have a nice uh, a nice vintage look on them didn't they i suppose i didn't clean all the grot off the outside of the box just uh enough to make the the um the child brand stick out a bit a bit better tc at turbo concrete turbo concrete mega eagle all right folks so catch you all later yeah all right bye bye